Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. He goes with his gut. If there's one thing he's got, it's... <laughs> the news desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime in our city. It had been hoped by lawmakers and the general public alike that the end of prohibition would cut off the mob's air supply. But two years since the repeal of the 18th Amendment, it seems to have merely added fuel to the conflagration of crime. at Empire Bay with the Vinci Moretti War that ended in the car bomb killing of mob boss Tommaso Moretti. Gangs such as the Vinci search and call now off. In Repeat abandoned search. Turn to patrol. Well-organized international operations. They owe their success to their brutality and to the many lawmen and legislators in their pockets. Yes, don't allow yourself to be mistaken. The mob may be the instigator, the driving partner, but the corrupt politician or the dirty cop is the facilitator, and both roles must be played for organized crime to flourish. I've heard it mentioned in certain newspapers that the upward trajectory of the economy would quell the mob's opportunities to exploit police and lawmakers. That, sadly, doesn't appear to be the case. Those engaged in corruption are not doing so to put food on the table. City officials and public servants earn more than most, and did so even at the height of the Depression. 